the banks of the canal were raised on both sides where the boat was going. At the point Pungazali had pointed out, a staircase hall was found on the side of the canal. Where the steps end and the mandapam begins, there are two Nandi idols on either side. One can continue to look at the idols of Lord Nandi Bhagavan with excellent workmanship and life. The name Nandi Mandapam came to the Amandapam because of the importance of these idols. Once a year during the Vasant Utsavam, Tirunagikaronatha Kayurogan Swami and Nilayadakshi Amon visit the hall and pray. Then people will come there in droves. They will go back after watching the festival and drinking the moon feast. The boat approached the hall. After seeing the two ladies in the hall, the prince's eyes did not go anywhere else, attention did not go. As the boat approached, Ile Abradi descended the squat steps and obeyed. Vanadiyo was standing behind a pillar in the hall itself, half hidden. The boat came to a stop near Padadura. Santhane Mudan from the boat and younger Prati standing on the steps helped the prince to disembark. Sendane Muthan and Pungazali steered the boat backwards and stopped it at a short distance. Brother! How thin you are! When Kundave said that, her sweet voice was mixed with tears. Pani Selvan said, May my body be thin, sister. Why is your face so withered? Is it usual for your face to blossom like a lotus when you see me? Why is your face moon covered by a cloud today? Why are your eyes troubled? Ah! So many things must have happened to hurt and torment your heart. Otherwise, I you wouldn't have sent such a hasty letter. He said. Yes, brother. So many urgent things to be said, to be heard. You who pushed the golden throne of Ceylon to want. Sit a while on this black stone throne. She said. Pani Selvan touched his feet while sitting and looked at him. Kundave touched his head with her hand and sniffed. More tears welled up in her eyes. Both of them sat down and Kundave said, Brother. I should never have brought you here today. The head of Sudamani Viharam sent word that you have recovered well. That is not right, Suram has consumed you. But I could not help but look at you. Every moment after Anamangalam's arrival seemed like an age. She said. Sister. Don't you worry about what brought me here. If you hadn't sent the boat I would have been away all this time. Even with the harsh sura, it was your straw that upset my heart. Did you send that straw to someone? I never saw such a sage as that monkey-born Deva. I tested him in many ways, in everything, he's gone. Where is he now, sister? The cloud covering Kundave's muka moon parted a little. The coral petals opened to reveal pearly teeth and she smiled, Brother! What are you concerned about him now? There are so many other things. She said. What do you talk like that, sister? Has he behaved to displease you? No, no. Why should I be displeased? He promised to bring you in. He has fulfilled that promise. I wonder to think of all the tricks and tricks he used for that, where is he, sister? When I knew you had come here, I thought Vandiyathevar would have come with you. Isn't this lady who faints at everything she takes? You don't know how brave she has become, brother. Yesterday our Prime Minister's elephant threw her into my lap at Amberi above. But she didn't know that. If you had seen how brave she was then. Enough, stop praising your friend. Tell me about my friend. What about him? The thing he came for is done. He has gone back to his master, Aditha Kari Kalan. Then he broke his promise. He said he would not go to Kanchi and stay in the Chola country. How is that possible? What is he doing from the Chola country? The fate of the people here does not know what will happen tomorrow. If you are so fond of him, you should inform the emperor and make him return the small kingdom that his ancestors ruled. What would that great hero do with a little boy, sister? What all princes do, he does. You are the one who said no to the kingdom of Lanka. Do you think he will say no to it? The prince understood with a smile and said, Sister. I have denied with witnesses that I don't want a Sri Lankan kingdom. Even so, 
my father has accused me and ordered me to be imprisoned. Brother! If you had accepted the kingdom, there would not have been an order to imprison you. You would have been a free king. Then who could imprison you? Should I be acting like that against my father's will? Pawnee's wealth. Father would have been happy if you had agreed to the kingdom of Sri Lanka. He would have given peace of mind by dividing the rest of the Chola kingdom between your son and Madhurantha. Even now, efforts are being made to do the same. Brother. There is an effort to divide the kingdom into a kingdom to the north and a kingdom to the south. He trusts that you will be of help. He sent for you before and told you to bring him prisoner now that you did not come. The emperor knows very well that you have refused the kingdom of Ceylon. I would never have helped to divide the kingdom. There is no greater crime than that. I can give the entire kingdom to Siddhapa Madhurandha. So you and the first minister are of the same opinion. Yes, the prime minister thinks so too. He came to Sri Lanka to discuss this with me. Sister. Shall I tell you the real reason why I refused the kingdom of Sri Lanka? Who else are you going to tell but me bro? Yes, I have no one else to share my secrets with. Before going to Sri Lanka, I had great thoughts about that country. Only after I left did I realize how small a country it is. You can go from the west coast to the east coast of the country in one day if you go on a horse or an elephant. Is Chola Nadu alone bigger than that, brother? Can't you cross this country on horseback in one day? Chola Nadu is also small, so even if someone gives me the Chola Nadu crown, I will say no. You who divided this divine Tamil Nadu into Chola Nadu, Pandya Nadu and Chara Nadu. They have committed a great crime. That is why brave warriors were born in Tamil Nadu and this country is not happy. What is Samadragupta, what is Vikramaditya, what is Harshavardhana? Such great emperors have appeared and ruled great empires. Is there anyone who established such a great empire in Tamil Nadu? In the Kanchi Palavar clan there were Mahendra Chakraborty and Mamala. Then that clan also declined. Sister, if I were to rule the kingdom, it would be like this. I will not rule over a small kingdom, I will rule over an established kingdom that stretches from Sri Lanka to the Ganges. I will sit on the throne of the great Chola Empire, where the tiger flag flies in distant lands from the island of Malat to the island of Savaga. You think I am a madman. I still have the desire to have my heart fulfilled by you. Maybe that won't work either. And yet I will not be disappointed. If you can't handle it, I am sure your child will handle it. I will raise your son from the day of his birth. I will make him a hero that this world does not recognize. I will make him a manly lion capable of performing miracles without allowing his mind to dwell on petty desires. Sister. You are certainly more mad than I am. I have no intention of getting married. You have started talking about the son who is going to be born to me. If any of the friends you cherish and raise have such thoughts, if they wish to marry me and sit on the throne with a crown of jewels, it will be fulfilled one day. No way. Be sure to tell them this. As Pawnee Selvan said, his gaze went for a moment to Venati standing behind the pillar of the hall. The next moment he turned around, he saw the Padatura Nandi idol in front of him. Nandi Deva stands guard at the gate of Kailasa without disturbing those Buddhaganas. How can he stop the monster moments with such a small figure? Look sister. Here is this Nandi growing before my eyes. Grows and grows and grows and grows. It takes a colossal shape and touches the roof of this Mandapam. The roof is gone now. Lord Nandi stands in the sky, troll accounts are coming. They stand reverently looking at Lord Nandi and ask permission to visit Shiva, if Lord Nandi is so great. How should the temple where Lord Shiva resides be? Shouldn't we build a tower that spans the sky to say Dax Hinamaru? Shouldn't there be Prakaras for that? Now the temples in the Chola country are suitable for the temple of say Jagastya. Not suitable for Lord Shiva. I don't want a kingdom, I don't want anything. I will request whoever sits on the Chola throne to appoint me as the temple maintenance officer. Brother. We must compete as to which of us two is more insane. 
At present, this Chola country is surrounded by danger. There is danger from insiders and outsiders, from enemies pretending to be friends. For some time I have often had a terrible dream. A sharp murderous sword shining with lightning appears before my inner eye. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I don't know if someone from the Chola clan is going to fall prey to the murderous sword or if it is a murder that is going to destroy this Chola kingdom in two. You and I must think and try to prevent such a danger from happening to this country. Said the youngest brat. Yes, sister. It seems so to me from the details given by Valavarya. You know from whom the greatest danger is going to come to the Chola clan, don't you? Said the prince. Are you referring to Nandini, the beautiful maiden, brother? Yes, sister. You know who she is, don't you? I learned that too from the details given by Vandiyathevar. That is why I came to see you in such haste. Said Kundave.